Imagine living a life of royalty, privilege, and glamour, being a member of the British royal family, attending prestigious events, wearing designer clothes, and traveling the world. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, for one woman, it is her reality. This is the story of Princess Beatrice of York, an entrepreneur and socialite who is also a granddaughter of Queen Elizabeth II. Princess Beatrice was born on the 8th of August, 1988, at the Portland Hospital in London, the first child of Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and Sarah, Duchess of York. She is the fifth grandchild of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Her name, Beatrice Elizabeth Mary, was a surprise to many, as it was not announced until almost two weeks after her birth. She was named after Queen Victoria's youngest daughter, who was also a redhead like her mother, Sarah. She has a younger sister, Princess Eugenie, who was born in 1990. The sisters are very close and often seen together at public events. They are also known for their fashion choices and charitable work. Beatrice began her early education at the independent Upton House School in Windsor before moving to Coworth Park School and then St. George's School in Ascot. She excelled in academics and sports, especially swimming and tennis. She also developed a passion for art and literature. She continued her education at Goldsmiths College in London, where she studied history and graduated with a bachelor's degree in 2011. She was the first member of the royal family to complete a full-time degree course. She had one challenge to overcome, though. She had dyslexia, which made reading difficult for her. She struggled with words and letters and felt frustrated and embarrassed. But she did not give up. With the help of her parents and teachers, she learned to cope with her condition and became an avid reader. She also became an advocate for dyslexia awareness and education, and supported organizations such as Dyslexia Action and Helen Arkell Dyslexia Center. Eight is her lucky number. She was born on the eighth day of August in 1988. After graduating from college, Beatrice pursued a career in business and technology. She worked briefly at the Foreign Office, Sony Pictures, and Sandbridge Capital before joining Affinity, a software company that uses artificial intelligence to improve customer service. She is currently the Vice President of Strategic Partnerships at Affiniti, where she helps to establish relationships with global clients and partners. She also works privately with a number of charitable organizations, such as the Teenage Cancer Trust, Outward Bound, Big Change, and Street Child. She is especially passionate about supporting children's education and empowerment. She has traveled to countries like Nepal, Sierra Leone, Ethiopia, and Rwanda to visit schools and projects supported by her charities. She's also an avid reader and patron of several literary initiatives, such as Oscar's Book Prize and Dolly Parton's Imagination Library. She often shares her book recommendations on social media and encourages children to read more. As a socialite, Beatrice enjoys attending glamorous events and parties with her friends and family. She is often seen at fashion shows, art exhibitions, film premieres, award ceremonies, and royal engagements. She has a sophisticated sense of style and wears outfits from various designers such as Alexander McQueen, Dolce & Gabbana, Valentino, Erdem, Emilia Wickstead. She also likes to accessorize with hats, fascinators, jewelry, and handbags. She also loves traveling and exploring new places and cultures. She has visited many countries around the world. She often shares photos and videos of her trips on social media, but she had many dramatic events. She accidentally cut Ed Sheeran's face with a sword while trying to knight James Blunt at a party in 2016. Sheeran needed stitches but was not seriously injured. She was involved in a car crash in 2010 when her BMW collided with another vehicle in central London. She escaped unhurt but was shaken by the incident. She was criticized for wearing an unusual hat designed by Philip Treacy at Prince William and Kate Middleton's wedding in 2011. The hat, which resembled a pretzel or an octopus, became an internet sensation and inspired many memes and jokes. She later auctioned it off for charity and raised over 80,000 pounds. Beatrice married Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi, a property developer and English-born Italian nobleman, on the 17th of July, 2020. Their wedding had originally been planned for May 2020 at St. James's Palace in London, but was postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. They eventually had a small and private ceremony at the Royal Chapel of All Saints at Royal Lodge in Windsor, with only close family members present. Beatrice wore a vintage Norman Hartnell gown that belonged to her grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, and the Queen Mary fringe tiara that the Queen had also worn at her wedding in 1947. 
Eduardo wore a morning suit and a navy blue tie. The couple exchanged platinum and diamond wedding rings designed by Sean Lean. The couple live in London and have a daughter, Sienna Elizabeth Mapelli Mozzi, who was born on the 18th of September, 2021. Beatrice is also a stepmother to Eduardo's son from a previous relationship, Christopher Wolfe, who was born in 2016. The family are very happy and enjoy spending time together. Sienna had a sweet role at her aunt Phoebe Williams Ellis's wedding in July 2023, where she walked down the aisle with her brother Wolfie as a flower girl. Beatrice is also close to her extended royal family and often attends events and celebrations with them. She was fond of her grandparents, Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip. She is also close to her cousins, Prince William and Prince Harry, and their wives and children. Beatrice has a warm and friendly personality and is well-liked by everyone who knows her. She is a modern and independent woman who balances her work, charity, social and family life with grace and elegance. She is a role model for many young women who aspire to achieve their dreams and make a difference in the world. I hope you enjoyed this video about the lifestyle of Princess Beatrice of York. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to Luxury Freaks for more videos like this. I would love to hear your opinions and suggestions for the next video. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Luxury Freaks.